first of all, let's just find the midpoint of this line and that's denoted with the blue circle. Let's click and drag all the way down to this edge using the blue axis and click again. And let's make the width of that 30 mil. So let's just zoom in so we can get a better look and select that line, press M for move and control for copy. And we're gonna bring that along 15 mil. And then we're gonna do the same again in the other direction. And then delete that line. So now we have the center of the window frame. And then we're gonna have three panels here and three panels here. So let's just measure that again. That's 1530. So let's say 1530. We're going to have one vertical bar and another vertical bar or support. Well, let's say they're 30 mil each. So let's minus 60 mil. That's 1470 divided by 3 is 490. Okay. So let's bring this down 490. Let's bring that across on the red axis. Bring that down 30 mil. Bring it across the red axis all the way over to the edge. And then let's click on the edge here. Bring that along the blue axis and type 490. And then highlight all of this section, press M and control, snap on that endpoint, click and drag in the direction of the blue axis. And then you'll feel the endpoint snapping on this endpoint of that measurement that we previously created, and then just click. Let's double check those measurements to make sure they're correct. So let's click on that endpoint and hover on the top of that bar that's coming up at 490. Let's press escape to cancel that. Let's click on the bottom of that bar and then hover over the top of this vertical bar. That's 490 and let's escape that. Let's click on the bottom of that vertical bar and that's 490. So now we know that they're all equally spaced. So let's tidy this up a little by removing some of the lines that we don't need. So let's remove those lines and those lines. And let's just put a little bit of a windowsill in at the bottom there. So let's bring that out, uh, let's bring that out 50 mil. And then obviously making sure you're following the red axis and then following the blue axis down, let's bring that down 50 mil again. And then going along the red axis, let's just click on that edge. And we already know that the distance here is 50. So let's click that endpoint and bring it out 50 mil. And you'll notice that SketchUp is preempting that measurement because it actually snaps itself on the, a distance of 50 mil. So let's click there, follow the blue axis. You can see that there's a black dot appearing. That's letting you know that the distance here is the same as this distance. Let's just click on that and then Finally, bring it along the red axis to that end point. Let's just tidy that up a bit and remove that line and that line. And zoom out, just take a look at that. That's great. And now we have our first window. Now that we have our first window created, 
we're going to make a copy of this and paste it over here. But let's just tidy up some of the, the geometry that we don't need. So let's remove these lines. Just to make that a bit tidier. And because we're making a copy of this, it, it would make more sense to make this a component as opposed to a group because it means that later down the line if you make any changes any changes will be replicated in the copy so we've selected this entire window we're going to right click that and then select make component and we're going to call that six paneled window and then create so now that this is highlighted in blue, if we click off that, we're able to highlight this face of this wall. But if we select this, then we can see the blue bounding box, which is letting us know that this is now its own independent entity. So let's press M and Control, and then so click on the end point at the top and then drag in the direction of the red axis and bring that all the way over until it snaps onto this end point and then press and then just click. So now we have two of our windows and if I select one entity within this window then it's going to be selected here as well. And that's the biggest difference between a component and a group. Let's also delete this line and this line. 